This is part nine as I continue to rebuild this severely damaged apartment. This is what's been going on in the kitchen. Months ago, the plumber came and he replaced all the PVC pipes for copper pipes. And he extended some pipes over there to help me for a new design in the bathroom. Then the contractors came along with the electrician and the contractors were working right behind the electrician because the electrician had to fix all the electric problems in the entire apartment. So he rerouted, he redid everything in the breaker box. Some are new breakers, they're all new cables. And he added new outlets that I requested like this one because now the fridge used to be over there. Now I'm gonna put it over here. He added this outlet for the garbage disposal. This will be for the water heater. He added this too over here because this will be counter space. I think that's going to get closed off and he still has to work on this side of the apartment because this side is sending power to the left side of the living room which still doesn't have power because this side doesn't have power. He hasn't finished. The contractor came and he put up these walls. These are not regular gypsum board. He tells me these ones have concrete inside. He calls them something like plysum, something like that. So, and the hole that was on the floor got covered up with cement. The hole that was in the ceiling got covered up with cement. The new layout, this is how it's gonna work. Where the fridge used to be is now going to be a pantry. Then it's gonna be the stove, counter space with the water heater inside the counter, garbage disposal, the sink, and the refrigerator nothing over here and on that corner will be the washing machine and the dryer after all this work is done and i replace the floors and i paint the the ceiling and the, the walls and put the tiles that are needed then i have to custom made the cabinets which like i said is going to be a huge pantry top to bottom the thing is that the entrance of the kitchen is concrete so the new cabinets and everything I make cannot go past the concrete like it used to. So the stove that I buy is going to have to be smaller. The washing machine that I buy, uh, it'll have the dryer on top and it'll, it is going to have to be smaller so it doesn't come out past the concrete entrance of the kitchen. I'm going to put cabinets only on this side. I don't want anything on top of the stove. I still have to add the extractors. I don't think that I'm going to put cabinets on top of the refrigerator because I'm going to be making a very big pantry here that is going to go from top to bottom with a bunch of shelves so they'll be able to fit everything they can in there. Plus, I behind the kitchen, right outside there's a closet that I knocked down and the contractor made it bigger so that's gonna have a lot of space in there for whatever else people might need to store so that's where I'm at so far as I turn this abandoned apartment back into an actual apartment so I can sell it a few years ago I came to visit my dad he, there was something wrong with him I began to get him help I moved back home to get him help he was diagnosed with dementia. The apartment was damaged. In 2021, the court chose me to be my father's tutor. So in 2021, I moved into the apartment so I can fix it, but I had spent all of my savings in taking care of my dad while the court hearing was going on because his bank accounts were frozen by the court at my request. So the court reimbursed me the money that I used for my dad with the condition that I will use the money to fix the apartment so it can be sold and the profits from the sale will go to my dad's bank account to continue paying for his nursing home and whatever care he may need. So keep watching so you can see how I turned this dumpster into an apartment.